Trent is either out of his mind or destiny is calling. Trent, you in a recovery. <laughs> are you into that? The roads are treacherous. Oh yeah, he's stuck. And the threat of a huge blizzard has us calling in reinforcements. The old Amish village showed up to help us finish before the storm. Subscribe and come along today as we battle the snow to rescue friends and be saved by them. Look at these guys on the roof. Everyone has been having an amazing, magnificent start of the holiday season. I feel like Thanksgiving officially kicks it off, and now the moment we've all been waiting for, the moment I know that you know I've been waiting for is finally happening. Trent, what are we doing today? We're going to cut down a Christmas tree. Yay! <laughs> I've like always gotten my Christmas trees just from like a Christmas tree lot. And the past couple years we've gotten them cut down trees. And it's very difficult for me because it takes a long time to find a good tree. And then usually when you do find a good tree, it's like too big or there's something wrong with it. Or like, long story short, no tree is perfect and I'm always looking for the perfect tree. And uh, so the last few times we've been hiking around for hours looking for the right tree. And the tree we settle on, is never even the right tree. But so. I don't know if you remember last year, Leo had just been born, so we decided not to cut down our own tree. So we went to like an actual Christmas tree lot and it took us just as long to pick a tree from a lot as it did to hike around and cut down our own tree because Trent has very high standards. The tree needs to be tall, even, symmetrical, bushy, but not too bushy, it needs to taper. Took us a very long time. <laughs> But yeah, so today we're going to cut down a tree. We have a permit from the state of Utah, so we're allowed to go cut down a tree. We're gonna go and try and find a tree that is just, it's gonna work, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> we're going with some of our neighbors that live up here by us. It should be a blast. Everything's fine. Wouldn't expect any more from this. It's really fun. I grew up just getting trees from like different lots. We actually would always used to go to the local fire station and support like the local firefighters and get trees from them. But it was cool. It was just never like the experience of going out into the woods and cutting down a tree for yourself. So I'm very excited. Now that we live in a place where you're allowed to do that, to introduce Leo to that type of experience and have him grow up um, being part of this like tradition of getting your own tree. It's really fun for me. I think Trent's totally over it because it's not new and exciting for him. And it's not even new for me anymore, but it's still just very exciting. It is a, a cool experience and plus it saves you a whole ton of money. I like know. the Christmas tree permits are like 10 bucks and then it goes right to the state. And if you go to like a lot and you buy a Christmas tree, I don't know if you guys have gone to buy Christmas trees lately, but they're like a hundred dollars. Yeah, or more. There's like, we went last year to this one lot and there was trees that were like $400. And like, that is the most preposterous thing <laughs> I've ever heard of in my entire life. When you can go cut down the same tree for 10 bucks. And if you got a truck, you just haul it home and it's, it's probably a better tree. <laughs> anyway. What are we looking for? We're looking for a Christmas tree. Uh oh. All right. We were not expecting this, but we're always prepared for this. Um, one of the cars in our group has gotten stuck on the ditch in the side of the road. Trent's gonna try to winch him out of the snowbank. He wants to know if you should throw it in neutral. Put it in reverse and just let it idle. Just steer, steer yourself out.
Great success. Great success. <laughs> I like when people get stuck. <laughs> yeah. It freaks me out. Well. Trent has proven himself over and over that he's very good at getting people unstuck and it just scares me so much every time that the car's gonna crash into us or he's gonna oversteer off the side of a cliff or like something is gonna happen. I'm, a, I'm paranoid, but he's really good at it and we are unstuck and back to Christmas trees. Oh yeah, he's stuck. <laughs> oh boy. You're just trying to make it a party. Oh, it's our turn. <laughs> Man. You just reach stuck here. Reach backwards. I'm really gonna try to do it myself. Okay. <laughs> At least everyone's having fun and uh, there's no like big consequence here. They're just in the snowbank. So we're gonna try to yank him out, see how it goes. I haven't this much recovery since I ran a record, man. I wanted to make you feel better, Matt. Uh, I, was, I, was, I didn't think I went that far off. You know? I thought it was completely packed right here. Yeah, exactly. It is not. <laughs> but it wasn't. Kinetic rope. Okay. It's basically like a rubber band. So I'm just gonna get like a little bit of a start and then when the rope tightens, it's gonna be like a bungee cord. Yeah. It's just gonna yank you forward cool. and then just be on the gas and we'll pull you out. Too much fun here. I love this. <laughs> he just tried to pull off to the side of the road to let the kids out on the on the sleds oh. and like, it's like a two foot ditch, but it's all flat with snow. So it looks, like a, it looks like a soft spot and he just sunk right in. Success. That was fun. <laughs> Too. That's was what it? I said. I said, are you stuck? And the guy said, no, we're not stuck. Oh, no. It, uh, it looked <laughs> stuck. He's confused. <laughs> he said he was stuck. I told him that would help him out, but then this log truck kind of screwed the plans. So oh. Maybe we could just go back and give him a push. Yeah. There's a car that's not part of our group, but is definitely stuck. So we're going to try to give him a quick yank and get them unstuck so they don't ruin their Christmas tree cutting down day. I know. We've already this pulled a couple so nice. of trucks oh. out. Yeah. Today you have yeah, everybody's getting stuck in the side today. Well, yeah. I walked out and my foot went way down. Yeah, yeah, you don't notice it. It looks flat. Yeah, and then it's great. Yeah. super soft right here. He's, so he's doing driver's ed training. Really? <laughs> perfect, perfect. He has his learner permit, <laughs> but he wanted to drive and he oh. loves trucks and he's conscientious of the big trucks and so he like yeah. wanted to get way over. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, Isaac, no, just that. stay on, let them. <laughs> <laughs> of them getting back up onto the road on their own power and you can just throw a strap on and yank them out. It's like, I love doing that and I love helping people. I've explained this many times on the channel, but I've done a lot of stupid things that have gotten me stuck in my days. And I always wish somebody was there to help me when that happens. So like, I always try to lend a helping hand to people that get stuck, even if they were doing something stupid. More fun to pull people out than it is to cut down a tree. <laughs> now we're moving on, going to find a tree. We'll see if some more people get stuck. Jump in, jump yeah. on. Yeah, let's go. Get the handle right there. Let's do it. Good, you got both of you. He's waving his pass too. So. Is he? Okay. You guys have chains? Yeah. Okay. He's halfway. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, we got done this. Most of the work. You guys want a little tug? Well, 
He's, he's, pull- he's gonna give us a tug there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing my buddy's way up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, I appreciate it. Man. If you're still here, I ain't gonna leave you. That's for sure. Yeah. Here we go. Fourth time's a charm. Here we go. Sold me on the rope. I've watched that. I've watched Matt pull thousands of people out, but now I'm sold. Like, That's yeah, awesome. These, these work quite well. <laughs> We've always talked about how much fun it would be to start a recovery channel ourselves. So maybe today is the, the nail in that coffin. I don't know. <laughs> you just gotta drive around the UNOs and find people that are stuck. Trans UNO recovery. Are you into that? So we found the place, this little forest up here is where we're gonna hike up, cool. try and find a tree that's gonna fit in our living room and not be unsightly. Our living room just doesn't cut it. You can have a really tall tree, but you can't have a big tree. So we're going for cute and quaint. And Leo is a blues brother. Wave to Dada. Dada. I think it's time to whip out the hand saw that we brought because I didn't bring a sawzall, which is exactly what I should have brought. So now we're gonna have to work for our Christmas tree. Actually, Trent, you're gonna have to work I'm for our have. Christmas tree. Everybody already knew that. <laughs> oh, you're halfway through. Oh! Ball bunion over here. <laughs> See that? What's that? Camera. Here. I know. You guys are so strong. That was a good harvest. I'm trying to wait <laughs> to see what bounties they bring back. I, know. I think they're so far away, they might be here a while. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a good one. Wow, that's big. Leo's loaded up. He's ready for nap number two of the day. We've got our tree thrown in the back of our truck. We're heading down.
What's up guys and good morning. Now we are actually going to be working today because next week we have a couple days to work. It's supposed to snow a lot. We have to get a lot of this framing done. And then after that, we're actually gonna be doing something very exciting and uh, we're not gonna be having a whole lot of time to work. So you guys will find out what happens uh, in about a week, I guess. But honestly, I don't know if we have enough time today to finish what needs to happen, but we're gonna do our best. We're gonna try and do the eaves on the new side of the addition on the garage, the taping and the gooping on the roof, the sheathing on the walls, and then there's also some stuff that Brandon wants to work on on his truck, so I'm gonna help him with that. And uh, today should hopefully be a good day. We're gonna get to work today and try and finish as much as possible. And also one thing before we get started today, some friends of the channel, uh, Dane and Laura, actually sent us a heat track mat, which is gonna go outside of our front door here. And you basically plug it in and it melts all the snow. This is gonna be imperative. Obviously we have this huge deck and all these stairs and everything that we need to shovel, but this will be awesome because we can put it right outside the door. We won't have to shovel outside the door and we can put the shovels on it so the snow will melt around the shovels. So thanks Dane and Laura, really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Caught behind the nation blinds How to reach for the city lines it's a gorgeous day. It's sunny, it's bright, it's pretty crisp and chilly. Um, and I am being reminded of my age. I had a glass of wine last night and I have a headache today. It's just uh, the combination of like not having drank my entire pregnancy and like not really drinking at all since Leo's been born. So now whenever I do drink, it's just like basically an immediate hangover, pretty much regardless of what I do to try to avoid it. So chugging water, trying to stay hydrated, trying to help these guys out as much as possible. Leo is taking his first morning nap of the day and these guys are wasting no time sheeting, eaving, taping, sealing, all of the things before it snows again. I've been running, Show me your books, Leo. Yay! Should we read that book? I was doing some Christmas shopping for Leo and I found this long sleeve shirt from Carhartt when I was looking to buy him a jacket and it has a a blue healer on the front that looks exactly like Frank. So obviously I had no choice, I had to get the shirt. And not only does it look so cute on him and fit him perfectly, but it's literally exactly Frank. It's, it's exactly Frank, it's amazing. It's like meant to be. <laughs> Yay. actually been a super fun afternoon here. We've had some friends and neighbors stop by uh, with their kiddos too. So we've been kind of hanging out, having snacks, playing together. Leo's getting to hang out with some of his friends. And uh, all of the guys have gone outside to help Trent and Brandon work because I don't know, for some reason they think that that's fun. That's a fun thing to do. It's freezing outside, um, but they're all outside getting the garage done. So I think We've hung out inside long enough. We're gonna check and see and make sure they're all okay. And check on the progression. Check on the progression. 
The old Amish village showed up to help us finish before the storm. Look at these guys on the roof. <laughs> a lot. Hello, oh, Leo and Allie. Much Hello. shallower of a roof than it's the other house. That's true. Much nicer. You guys always come over when we need help on a roof. Hey, oh. yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So our friends, Sean and Brian have shown up, um, Shawnee and Brooke and all the kids are here as well too. And the last time, was it the last time? I don't know, one of the last times that Brian and Sean were here was when they were helping us finish up the roof of our house right before a huge snowstorm, which is basically the exact same situation we're in right now, except on the garage. Well, we are trying our best to get as much done as possible. Brandon and I are sheathing this far wall over here, which we're almost done with then we just have to build the eaves finish nailing the ends off these guys have already been taping and gooping the roof for us so that wow. we don't have to do that after the fact because there's a big snowstorm coming we really want this thing to be watertight so really grateful for these guys as always they're always coming in clutch they are they're matching mustaches i love it yeah our november mustaches they won't be here too long don't worry <laughs> Be put to work when you got here? Yeah. <laughs> well, when I called, said, hey, can we come over? And he's like, oh, I'm working. I was like, well, that means if we come over, we have to help. <laughs> can you say thanks, Leo? Thanks for helping, everybody. It was good to see you. Cool, guys. Thanks for coming over. It was good to see you. We'll see you later then. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for the treats. Yes, of course. And the hot cocoa. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, 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 sorry, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah. So much fun to have friends come over and see the progress. One of our friends' his parents actually has a cabin right nearby. So they were all up here hanging out at the cabin and just wanted to lend a helping hand and hang out for a little bit. So we all had hot chocolate and snacks and got to play together. How would you feel about some hot chocolate? No, in like a thermos that you can have up here. I like hot chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate sounds great. Okay. Let's make that happen. <laughs> For beached whale, all this will do. All right, we have had quite the day out here. It is actually starting to snow a little bit heavier, but we got this entire wall framed or well sheathed. We got both gable walls sheathed. We got both eaves built. We got the fascia on. We even got the roof completely gooped and taped thanks to Sean and Brian who totally saved our butts because if we had to start doing that right now, I don't know if we would get it done. And it's also freezing right now. So we're gonna work on Brandon's truck for a little bit and then we are calling it a day. moment 
we've all been waiting for. It's a sappy tree. Is it? So it's romantic. It's the perfect Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> really happy that we went out and cut down the tree and like had fun doing it and it's awesome. I think we're gonna decorate it a different day, but we did need to bring it inside. So probably in our next episode, we'll be decorating the Christmas tree. I have had a really long day. Yeah. I'm really, really happy that we did get all the roofing, all the sheathing, everything completely finished. <laughs> Now it can snow, baby. I don't know if you talked about it or filmed it, but after Trent and Brandon worked a full day, then they continued to work on Brandon's truck for a few more hours. Yeah. They've just been outside in the cold, tinkering and like doing some cool, fun upgrades um, and hanging out on Brandon's truck for a while. So when he says he's had a long day, he's had a long day. Yeah, I've had a very long day, so. <laughs> This is where we're gonna call it. If you yeah. guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure or the past three days adventure, yeah. let us know by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Only wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on.